today on ESPN's First Take, Sam Acho. Um, on the quarterback in the NFL, best position to have a bounce back season. I think it's going to be Deshaun Watson. Last year, had seven touchdowns and five picks, and I get it. He only played the last six or seven games of the season, but he struggled. He looked rusty. He didn't rusty. He didn't really look. He really did look like a shell of himself is what we saw when I was watching Deshaun Watson. We were all watching, anticipating what he was going to look like. You could tell that he hadn't played football for a very long time. But what has he had? He's had those six games. He's had an entire offseason. He's had, now he has his receivers, his weapons, more chemistry, more time. Amari Cooper, Elijah Moore, right? David Njoku, you're getting more time with your weapons. And also, there's not a lot of noise right now coming out of Cleveland. We're talking about all the other teams. We're talking about Baltimore. We're talking about Cincinnati. And it's almost like one of those situations where you just put your head down and work. And sometimes those are, the, those are the best situations to be in. And so when I think of who's going to have the best bounce back season, I think it's the guy who a few years back before uh, what we all saw happen over the last couple years, this dude was one of the best, if not the best, top three, four, two, whatever quarterback statistically in the NFL. And so I think he's going to get back to form based off of getting reps and also having those weapons with him with chemistry. Well, and the one thing that's unstated there is they're going to tailor the offense around him. Let's welcome in uh, G. Bush, 92.3 The Fan, as well as the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show. Um, everything is pointing the way Browns fans want it to for Deshaun Watson. And I keep saying it, more national people are starting to say, oh, he's only 27. He, he's probably going to be what he was. Slowly but surely. Um, a lot of times people don't come around to, you know, you know, after they see it first, everybody's in this prove it first situation. Everybody needs to see it first. Um, but one thing that you start to look at is the additions that the Cleveland Browns made. You look at the roster, you look at the position groups uh, and you start to say, well, how bad can Deshaun Watson be if he has one of the best lines and one of the best running game, the, the best running back in the game? Uh, how bad could Deshaun Watson be now that they're tailoring the whole offense to him and he's involved in it? How bad could Deshaun Watson be if he's been part of the OTAs, he's been part of training camp, and him and Coach Stefanski are in lockstep of what they feel comfortable with running? And, and you come to the conclusion that he should probably play well. And that's not something that's a hot take or anything. It's You just go back and look at what he was doing in, in Houston – um, if you go back and watch what his skill set is and you go back and say, okay, well, was he injured that whole time? No. Uh, did he sustain some sort of, uh, you know, setback in terms of, is he, you know, worried about the legal stuff? No, that looks like his majority passed him. So you, you have to extrapolate and say, well, listen, he just sat two and a half years out. He couldn't play. He came back in the middle of the season when guys are in mid season form, mid season peak, mid season shape. And he struggled a little bit, but, there were times where you still saw it last year that he looked like, oh, I, that's Deshaun Watson. You saw it in flashes and in brief moments. But, um, you know, I would fully expect Deshaun Watson to, to play very well uh, this season. And, and if he does so, the Cleveland Browns are going to be a tough team to beat um, and a tough team to play in the AFC.